summer, I think of Camp of the Cross, and I think that there is no greater place to spend it. Working out here all summer has definitely affected me. Um, it basically gave me a venue to go through. I was looking to grow in my faith all summer, and I definitely did that. As the summer went on, I really just, I grew in my faith, and I really more so thought of the, or can know like the God calling you sort of thing. And at the end of the summer, I realized that this is where I was supposed to be, and it's where I'm supposed to be for summers to come. Throughout the summer, I am exposed to Christ more than anything else. And when I leave at the end of the summer, I realize that there's nothing else that I need because that's what all I've had all summer. So like Camp of the Cross really does focus on a small group ministry that is Christ-centered. Um, and so I believe that every camper and staff person that comes here um, is able to experience um, Christ in their life because it's, it's in everything that we do. who come to camp are amazing because they fill you with energy even when you think you can't go anymore and when you're talking with them doing live stories playing games whatever they just they say things that you would never think of but it gives you a whole new perspective on you know whatever you're doing whether it be a game or talking about life I mean, Jesus spoke about having faith like a child but as much as you read it you never fully understand it until you're working with children and you see the kind of faith that they have. It's incredible to see and incredible to grow from just being around them. Even though you're spending the summer to teach them, you learn so much from being with these kids. And that's a, another thing. I came out here and I was like, I can't do this, I can't minister to kids, I don't even feel strong enough in my own faith, you know? How am I supposed to broaden the faith of somebody else? And I grew so much in like having to lead worships and having to have other roles. My favorite part is when a camper asks you a question and then you explain it to them more and you see that little like aha moment and you're like, I started that fire. You know, like, I helped with that, and you started it, and you can rekindle it, or you can keep it going, and, like, campers send you letters in the mail, and it's just, it's so exciting, you know, that they want to keep, that they want you to help them, and you help them, and it's just, that's my favorite, favorite thing. And, and I, another thing that really excites me for the summer um, is the smiles of the campers when they arrive. I mean, they are just smiling from one ear to the other ear, and they're just so excited to come to camp. Within the kids, like the sparkle in their eye, or even a blade of grass on the ground, you know, it's not concrete, it's, it's things that God has made right in front of you that I think that we don't appreciate always. At the same time, I wonder why Camp of the Cross is beautiful for me. Is it because it actually physically is beautiful, or is it because of everything that I've experienced here? And it's this neat place where you get to see that everything we do can be can be worship, can be faith forming and life changing and and there's tons of different experiences like that during a summer. There's you're doing different things than you would do for sure in basically any other job. All of that kind of stuff ends up being you hit the end of the summer and you look back and it's such a cool thing, it's such a good thing. I mean, flipping burgers was fine, I did that myself in high school, um, but when I worked at a Bible camp myself throughout college, it just made it such a, a different summer, it was a meaningful summer. But I come to camp because it feeds you spiritually, and it's just a blast. I think one of the best parts of working at Camp of the Cross is the people you work with. Getting here, I was very, very nervous. Um, but after that, a full week of staff training and spending 
many hours with these people. Um, relationships grew and we became family and I didn't want to leave. <laughs> My number one reason for coming back to camp is everybody has the same attitude towards things. And it's because we're all here for the same reason. And I think that reason is to grow in Christ and to grow with each other as a community. Just the first couple weeks spending staff training together, just all build a, a bomb. It's almost like a family. That everyone's goes, you know each other, you are there to support each other, to have fun with each other, and know things about each other. Because I figured I could go home and see my friends on the weekends. But once camp started and we got into the swing of things, I didn't really want to leave on the weekends. I wanted to hang out with the people that worked here. And the people you work with, you grow with, and you learn with, and you make friends. And I have made some of my best friends here at camp, and I know that I will be friends with them for a lifetime. I would love to get paid to be swimming in the lake. I would love to get paid to eat good food, and we actually do have good food at Camp of the Cross Ministries, and you can tell by me that I, I enjoy food, so um, that would be important to me. But um, you get paid to do Bible studies, you get paid to play with kids in the field, you have a great game called Boofer where you get socks of flour thrown at you. It's like the hard part is deciding, you know, and like really putting everything into God's hands and saying, okay, I'm putting this all up to you and you're the one that's going to take care of it and God provides. It's weird, but he does and he does it in the strangest ways. But God works through the summer and he does cool things through the summer in big ways, sometimes really huge changes and sometimes really little, really little ways. You might not believe that you're a summer staff person, but I think that in conversation with myself and our program directors and other staff that have been here, you might find out that you really are a Camp of, Men Camp of the Cross Ministries staff person. Um, we need quiet people, we need over energetic and crazy people, we need people who really know their Bible, we need people who are discovering their Bible, we need lifeguards, we need cooks, we need maintenance. You know, I had faith that this was gonna make me grow. And and it really did. It really did. I don't it's not just one thing that brings me back here. It's it is the view, it is the people, it is the the love, it's the the learning and the growing. It's all of that stuff. And there's more. There's something I can't explain about why I'm here. Well, why I want to come back. When that staff member goes back to their school or to their job or to their family, they, those, those families can see that something cool happened in them and to them, that something really neat and life-changing happened to them and, and in them and even through them in the summer that they spent at camp. Brandon Johnson. I'm from Hazen, North Dakota. My name is Jamie Haig. I'm from Mandan. My name is Jared. Along with my wife Anna, we are the program directors for Camp the Cross. Okay, my name is Giannis Sloka III, and I am the executive director of Camp of the Cross Ministries here in Garrison, North Dakota. My name is Paul Richter, and I'm from Bismarck. I'm Maria Piccolo, and I'm from Becker, Minnesota. My name is Brandon Boyd and I'm from North Dakota. My name is Danica Moran and I'm from North Dakota.